call Antoine Vaxeler. This is how we pronounce it. Uh, I speak French, and this is my plane ticket I took three months ago to come here to Japan. Uh, the reason I'm showing this is actually because I never planned to come here. It sort of happened to me. Uh, it's a mix of bad luck with job interviews. Uh, I finished architecture, and a real boredom of Europe. But I'm very happy I did come here because I love this city, uh, and I also discovered something. In this corridor here, this is the corridor I take every morning to go to work in Shibuya, uh, and I discovered something um, that I want to share with you tonight. Uh, and this thing is at the same time sad, uh, maybe you will see why, and for me happy. It means that I'm the result of a very simplistic mathematical, mathematical equation. You take a turtle to which you add a photographer and you multiply both by a boat. Uh, the result you get is something like me, uh, and tonight I will argue that it's actually something like all of you. Uh, and Although the turtle and the photographer are very easy for me to understand, the boat came in recently, and I think in Japan, uh, to answer the big question I have in my head, which is, what is the new individual for the 21st century? And is there such a thing? Well, I'd like to naively think there is such a thing, uh, but it seems that history itself keeps on telling me there is a thing. Uh, and this history, uh, again, not again, uh, starts in Europe, in France, in Paris, with this guy. This guy is what we call a flaneur. He is the individual of the 19th century, and he is the turtle part of the equation. Essentially, in 19th century France, where a city is completely changing, uh, we find these kind of people, and the most dedicated of them, they would take turtles on a walk uh, to make sure they don't go too fast. This is how they started to enjoy the city. <laughs> but the reason behind this is this architectural element. This is the arcade, and with the arcade, it radically change the way we use the city, the way we consume the city, and the way we interact with one another. This is what the flaneur did in the 19th century, and he is the creation of the modern Mern, we could say, in Europe at least. Then, since then, we only have iteration of this guy, and 20th century saw the appearance of what we call the voyeur, always French names. A voyeur would be a gazer. Uh, but essentially, it means that from the horizontal plane of Paris, we across the Atlantic, we go to the high-rise building of the US, with such a guy and it's very famous, many movies have depicted these people, which is through the camera, through a new device, like the arcade before, we start to re-understand the way we understand cities, the way we understand people, and the way we want to interact with everyone and every information we are facing. So two architectural inventions. One is the arcade, the other one is the um, high-rise building, created two individuals for the last two centuries. Then my question is, what is the 21st century invention? Uh, it is not Google Glasses, but I do think, <laughs> I do think it is the very small tip of a gigantic iceberg, which for lack of a better word, I would call big data today. Big data is going to change the game. Like the arcade did, uh, like the high-rise did, big data will change everything, and especially for me and all the people of my generation, child from the 80s, we are facing an amazing world. A world that will require from us efforts, but that will give us a lot. So if the flaneur gave us the turtle, if the, pan, if the voyeur gave us the camera, we have now to create the ship part of the equation, the multiplier, the one that's going to change everything. So if you think of the ship, he is that massive boat full of energy that goes to the port. He will always stop his engines way before destination. That's because he has an enormous amount of embodied energy. And that embodied energy, we all have it. The problem, I think, is that we don't use it enough. So let's use it. And let's see the sea of the boat as a sea of images, text, videos, any kind of information. And if we made that analogy between the boat and ourselves, we start to see that we can gain a lot from that inertia, a very basic physical phenomenon uh, that allows the boat to keep on going without putting more energy, only with the energy he has inside. This means that the way we approach knowledge, which used to be by digging through information, this is very old school, now will be achieved by panning over information. Panning is an horizontal movement like this. You don't go too deep, you don't want to know too much, you just want to know good enough. And this creates the new individual, which is called a panner. After the flaneur, after the voyeur, we have the panner. We have to pan. And this is our god. Mr. Messi is the god of the panner. Messiness in the 21st century will very soon have more value than order. Quantity is much better than quality. You will see it, and we see it every day. So I'm going to put this crudely. As 21st century individual, all of us, we are panner now, I'm telling you, and we are 
this guy, not this one. This is 19th century intellectual French people, and I know about them. Uh, <laughs> I don't want to be them, I want to be this guy. I want to be the Christmas turkey. And what it means is that the more I get stuff, the better I get at what I do. And this means, furthermore, that lolcats, and if anybody can tell me here why they are so famous on internet, uh, I would be glad to know. But anyway, they are. And they are for a good reason, which is every single image that has value at the moment, the very small moment we see it, has to be kept in our panneur stuffed turkey. So let's see it like this now. Uh, looking back, it means that as, as we go through the 21st century, we will stop looking back deep in our past to find answers, because there are no answers, and we will stop pretending we know what's going to happen and propose new ideas. We only live in what I call the now. It is within this now that we will be able to be at the same time like the flaneur, to walk slowly with the turtle, to enjoy the moment. We will be also able to be precise enough to use the frame of the camera like the voyeur of the 20th century, and this multiplied with the inertia of the boat will give us the famous panneur. This panneur has no judgment. He who pans will find. Yes? And it's not about, it's not a matter how individualistic we become. It's not a problem that we keep on using social media, that we keep isolating ourselves. That's okay. The problem is that if we don't use this information we're facing, then we will get lost. But if we create the links, then it will be fine. So I would say that if Kennedy was right 60 years ago to say, for the free world, ich bin ein Berliner, I would say <laughs> that for the world we live in today, which is getting smaller and smaller, the panel loves to believe I am a worldwider. Thank you. <laughs>